Alright, in today's video we have 5 new games you probably didn't know about. I'm very sorry if you at least know one of them, but I hope you'll discover something new in here. Let's get right into it. First up, two new Lord of the Rings games have been officially in development for quite a long time now, and with both of them announced to the public in 2019. It's something that's always been long awaited for fans of the movies, the Shadow of Mordor fans, or just gamers in general. First up, we have the free-to-play open-world online RPG being developed by Amazon Studios, which is one of the first games of the studio, but with many many experienced developers and will let players explore middle Earth with mates long before the events of the trilogy of movies. That is the only thing we know about this upcoming open world Lord of the Ring game. But right now we've just had new information on the second AAA Lord of the Ring project, slated to release before the open world project. You might have heard about it, the Lord of the Rings Gollum. Daedalic Entertainment has officially announced that it's working on a new action-adventure game in the iconic world and will be released in 2021 for PC, Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5. This project will be based mostly on the books by Tolkien and will follow Gollum's path through those books, but it will also explore new events and details from its huge journey. Now here's all the details we know about it. Gollum, who players will be controlling, will look nothing like the character in the movies directed by Peter Jackson. According to the senior producer of the Gollum game, it will take design inspirations from the novels, which opens up plenty of storytelling possibilities, more so than the movies ever had. Gollum was also originally human before being corrupted by the ring. Over the course, the character gained an inherent double personality, something this game will be exploring deeply. The creators are using his split personality as an interesting gameplay mechanic. Gollum will always talk to himself throughout the game, and almost certainly argue with the other part of himself, which is Smeagol. That means player will be forced to choose between each of those two personalities in different parts of the game, leaving different consequences on your axe. You will have maybe two, three or four conflicts per chapter that lead to a final decision point. And at this final decision point, it will be harder to pick Smeagol, for example, if you've always fought for the Gollum side before. Coming across an area full of patrolling guard may cause Gollum to argue with himself as to flee or charge into battle. These arguments will also provide players with an important guidance about other gameplay related aspects. Next up we have Midnight Ghost Hunt. This game is mostly talked about on the game's discord at the moment, so you might have not heard about this one hopefully. Midnight Ghost Hunt is the classic hide and seek mode created and made into a full blown game and it looks really really good. The developers are extremely active in the progress of Midnight and are currently in a closed alpha exclusive to their Discord channel members. I myself haven't played it yet, but from every person's comments, it is a well-made game and the potential is high for when it releases on Steam. Play online with your friends as either a ghost or as a ghost hunter. Ghosts may possess furniture and other objects to remain hidden in plain sight. The hunters though are equipped with various gadgets that will help them track down the ghost. Both Ghost and Ghost Hunters players may customize their loadout to specialize for a specific strategy. For example, Porter Guy's Ghost can remotely hurl objects to confuse, distract and scare hunters. At midnight, the lights flicker off and all dead ghosts return as vengeful spirits. The table turns, the hunters become the hunted. They must try to survive the ghost onslaught until they can escape. Next up we have Jew Process. Jew Process is also in a closed alpha at the moment and is another game very appreciated by the fans, but this time fans of the tactical FPS games. It also doesn't look like any other tactical games due to the graphics and the gameplay elements. The game is about planning and teamwork that rewards communication with teammates, allow players to draw a playbook directly onto the map during the planning phases and presents a novel situation thanks to a bounty of procedurally generated and curated maps. Each match begins with a planning session, providing teams an opportunity to gear up, discuss strategy over voice chat, and formalize tactics by drawing directly onto the map, like a playbook. Once the round begins, combat is quick and energetic, with one team on offense and the rival team defending a structure with multiple entry points. Your experience will never be the same, as each map will be different every single time. It will be more about outsmarting your opponent than memorizing a map. 
Finally, we have Bomb Simulator. By the way, no offense to anyone, I'm just covering a game that looks a little bit interesting. Bomb Simulator is an open world survival game about a person living in the streets. Dirty alleys, city streets, pawn shops, Central Park, subway and rat infested sewers, you'll be able to go wherever you want and whenever you like. It is an open, crazy urban sandbox. There are many secrets to uncover and achievements to unlock, and each location houses interesting characters with personal storylines and quests. You can even build your own little home, and as you evolve through the world by earning money and such, you'll be able to grow your home and be a little bigger in society. I myself am not offended by this, I can understand the problem of homeless people and cities not doing much to help, and a game like this won't change my mind. Alright guys, if you found one of the games in this video interesting, make sure you give this video a like, and also subscribe for more in the future. Thanks to I Am Legend for being a master member on the channel. You can become a survivor member for 99 cents only, it'll support me and the channel as a whole. Alright, thanks for watching.